At startup, the water is at very low pressure and temperature, so no flashing occurs as it exits the venturi. This means there is no back pressure present to restrict the flow of cold condensate as it exits the delta trap. This cold water exits freely at two to three times faster than hot pressurized condensate can at running load. This absence of flash steam on startup is why Delta Venturi orifice steam traps are suitable for startup loads. Once all the cold condensate and non-condensable gases have been ejected, steam and hot condensate reach the Delta steam trap. As the steam continuously condenses to hot condensate in the pressurized steam system, it is fed to the steam trap by the pressure in the system. This hot condensate passes through the orifice and enters the mouth of the venturi. As the condensate passes through the mouth of the venturi, there is a sudden pressure drop, which causes a percentage of the hot condensate to change phase from condensate to steam, a phenomenon known as flashing. This flashing creates a back pressure zone in the mouth of the venturi. Because condensate is 1,000 times denser than steam, it is able to push through this back pressure zone while restricting the steam. As the pressure and load in the steam system vary, so too does the percentage of flash steam being created at the mouth of the venturi in the delta steam trap, which in turn allows the back pressure at the venturi to vary accordingly. This varying of back pressure at the mouth of the venturi allows the delta steam trap to self-regulate the condensate flow as the condensate load changes. As the pressure or load in the steam system rises or falls, the back pressure that is constantly changing at the mouth of the venturi also rises or falls. This action gives the delta venturi orifice steam trap the ability to easily manage discharging varying condensate loads in a steam trap that has no moving parts, while still keeping the steam in the system.